Let's see what this guy's pit boy has got to say. But yeah, I hope you're great. Thanks for the lurk. I'm making a mission report here in case anybody comes across my body. If you're unable to identify me, I am Lieutenant Lazansky, tech specialist on Salvage Team 20. We managed to locate the wreckage. It's likely intact and survived the crash. That said, we underestimated the hostiles we would likely encounter on our mission, and as a result, two-thirds of the platoon is dead or MIA. It's likely I would have been right there with them if it wasn't for Caroni. I wasn't sure why the sergeant had picked the private to accompany us on the mission. But for a moment, I was glad he did. My good feeling was short-lived, however. Despite saving us, Caroni wouldn't respond to orders. The only time he made so much as a peep was when one of our firemen, fire team killed a hostile. Every time that happened, Caroni would look anxiously for another mutation to put down. We tried to tell him that every hostile he killed risked us being swarmed once more. He wouldn't listen. It was as if he was determined to get the most kills out of all of us. Did he think this was some kind of game? We didn't hold our position for long. Even Caroni didn't fancy his chances with the two death claws that flanked us. For once, we agreed on something. We ran to a nearby cave, and it appeared that the beast had lost our scent. It was there we found some kind of pre-war weapon. Now I had disassembled and reassembled a plasma rifle before, but this was like nothing I had ever seen. We had to get this back to base, but first we had to get some rest. When I woke up, I discovered that not only were all our men tents gone, but Caroni was hunched over the weapon on a boulder. Its constituent parts scattered across the rock face. At the time, even with death almost a certainty, I still couldn't let this promotion opportunity go. I tackled Caroni, he fought back. Once the fray started, the rest of the team jumped in, all of us fighting over the weapon. The noise attracted what was left of the glowing sea's population to our position, and soon we were running for our lives once more. To say we weren't so lucky this time was an understatement. I watched the rest of us being torn apart. The weapon. It worked. Caroni fired it mindlessly into the storm. Its effectiveness is clear, but it wasn't enough. The last I saw of him, he was running into the sea, the ribbons of electricity from his weapon slowly growing tinier and tinier in the fog. I got away again. Most of me did anyway. I'm going to try and use a transmitter to radio for help. But it's only a matter of time now. Damn. That was intense. Oh, shit. Who else wants some? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're just like hatching out of him. Festering blowfly. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Holy shit. I'm about to die. Yo, what? Am I about to get killed because of these dudes? I gotta get something else to, to, to hit them with. Submachine gun, maybe? I'm dead. I'm like so dead. I'm so dead. Fusion core is empty. I'm so fucked. I think I'm dead, guys. What the fuck? These things are insane! I have no weapons left. I think I'm fucked. I don't think I should have did this. It's fine. I'm gonna be playing it like all night, probably. I don't know what I can do here. Maybe shoot the fat man? I have one mini nuke. What's up, J-Rod? I think I'm dead. I literally just mini nuked all of those dudes. God damn. The mini nuke saved us. I had one mini nuke. That saved us. I couldn't. I don't I I was dying. I was getting totally decimated. Holy hell. I was getting completely just wrecked by the festering 
bloat flies. Holy hell. Okay, let's let's redo our health. What's up, J-Rod? Well, God, there's so many things to fight. Oh my God. These festering bloat flies are the worst. Oh my God, they're killing me. Jesus Christ. I'm getting completely tore apart. And a ghoul, and ghouls too? Yeah, I don't think I'm making it out of this, guys. This is ridiculous. And I can't, I keep losing the signal. I found him. I found him. No way, I found him. I found him. <sighs> Golly, this was insane. Draw distance. The aircraft is in pieces, but those pieces are intact. We were about to check inventory, see if we can carry some of this equipment back to Vault 95 until we saw a blue light in the fog. As it grew closer, we raised our weapons. I could hardly believe my eyes. It was that good-for-nothing Caroni. It didn't take long to guess why this coward survived. He had something hoisted over his shoulder, glowed brightly. Fucker was going to give away our position. I told him to put it down. He didn't. I told him it was an order. He didn't respond. Drew our weapons again. I ordered once more. He stood there, and I told my men to approach as they surrounded him some kind of lightning bolt shot from that thing turned felt into ash we covered the area in bullets but when the smoke cleared the son of a bitch was gone he couldn't go one circuit without tripping over his shoelaces but now he can disappear in a flash we darted into the fuselage for cover and he came at us again he didn't even take cover as he pursued us took out two more of our men i was as sure as dead so I leapt at him and hit him squarely on the draw. He fell onto the floor on the cabin. What was left of us joined me in holding him down. We hated the fact that we needed him alive, but Command needed to know what happened out here. Otherwise, I would have shot the bastard myself. Bastard may have put up a good fight, but people like that, even with every advantage, they always lose. Yo. Yo, Caroni! Our boy Caroni! Oh my god, our boy Caroni. Holy fucking hell. I didn't even save it. Oh my god, dog meat, yes. Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? What just happened? What the? So, what happens if I run away from this guy? Does he follow me? Does he follow me? Are you okay, dog meat? So he just, there he is. Holy shit. He's definitely gonna kill me. Lock and load. Oh, I think we got a chance. Oh my god, I think we got a chance. No way, I think we got a chance. No way. Let me get my health. I think we have a chance. I think we have a chance. No way. I think you're right, Dragon Love. 
Power level doesn't mean anything against strategy. You're right. Let's eat our stuff. We got the psycho. We got the dirty water. Even think about it, bro. No way. Oh yeah, this dude's done for. We're beating this dude's ass. We're beating this dude's ass. I don't give a fuck, bro. We are beating your fucking ass. Hit me all you want, bro. Hit me all you want. How did his health go back up? No, I'm almost dead. No. Come on, baby. Critical, critical, critical. I need a critical. I need a critical. He's done. He's done for. This little bitch is done for. Fuck you, bro. Give me your weapon. I want the weapon. Nice. Tesla cannon! We did it! We got the Tesla cannon. Oh, that's sick. Holy crap. Holy crap. That thing is sick looking. Oh, that's so sick. Best of three completed. We completed the quest. Holy hell. That's crazy. That was a crazy, that was a crazy, that was a crazy quest. Dang, level nine. Now we can do our damage resistance up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that was crazy. Oh my God, that was literally, we started this quest six hours ago. Six hours ago we started this. Let's get the fuck out of this irradiated wasteland. <laughs> Let's go back up here, park our power armor. I can't believe we actually made it. I only had two fusion cores. I had one fusion core on me, and then I had one inside the power armor. I can't believe I actually pulled that off at, like, level 8, and we ended up just beating the guy's ass with the tire iron. <laughs> you guys think I only play Mario? play way more than Mario. Way more than just Mario. I can promise you. <laughs>